Hello everyone, Pat Dana MMA back with another DWCS breakdown. We're going to be kicking off the week seven action with the first fight of week seven, some women's action with Rose Conceição versus Alexia Tainara. Pretty intriguing fight between two Brazilian regional champions. I'm very excited to see this fight, especially. I think it could go a lot of ways. So we're going to be kicking it off first with Rose Conceição. Conceição is 27 years old. She's 7-0, and and she's the LFA interim women's strawweight champion. She is a seven-time Brazilian national wrestling champion and trains over with the Pitbull brothers, who have actually been seemingly taking her a bit away from that wrestling and involving her striking. She's came out recently with some cleaner punches and kicks and just a lot more pop to her strikes, a lot more technique you can see in her striking. And she recently started fighting in both stances. She did it in her last fight where she came out in the southpaw stance. So they've clearly been making strides in her striking and changing her fighting style for for the better, I'd say. And I wouldn't say it's a bad thing because she still has that wrestling to fall back on. Her leg kicks are very solid. She has a low output on the feet, kind of just waits to counter. But like I said, has been growing that technique. So looks pretty good while countering um sometimes she can swing a bit wild when things get close in the pocket she kind of forgets that technique and just starts throwing hooks in there she's very good at moving though constantly moving away from strikes and just constantly on her feet moving back and forth good good range management you can say so is normally good at moving away from strikes but as the fight goes on you start to see her start to get hit more and more and more and she is susceptible to being hit by solid strikers you know she has a pretty solid chin but she does keep it up and she can be hit uh she mostly just uses her striking though to set up her grappling that's her big tool is the grappling she spends a lot of time in the clinch and she has some okay takedown defense but her her ground game is is solid on top good top control some pretty basic submissions but solid big and clean takedowns she has some solid takedowns and she's just always always looking to grapple except in her last fight where she was always looking to strike so i don't know if this is a new trend now with Kinsaiso, but i guess we'll see in this fight she does have some pretty impressive cardio she has some creative moments in the grappling but I, the one thing i don't like especially is that she just lets fights get too close she's had a couple decisions now where they've just been a little too close for comfort going into the scorecard she has obviously won them but just not what you want to see so alexia tainara is the sft strawweight champion she's 26 years old and has a nine and one record her only loss is to bruna brazil who's now in the ufc and a pretty solid fighter in her own right tainara has some very fast hands and throws bombs she is constantly on the front foot constantly pressuring and just coming in winging big wild hooks she's very wild very reckless she can be hit but she does have power and she's not scared of being hit because she knows her power is likely more than her opponents she does have some pretty solid kicks and a decent jab but she does not use her jab enough because i actually think she has a pretty good jab that she could use to dictate the pace of fights i think she moves in a straight line too often whether she's stalking or moving back she's just moving straight too often but she is always moving. Tainara's striking defense, though, is a little bit suspicious. At range, I find her getting hit a little bit more than you'd want to see someone get hit. But she's that's why she's always trying to force a fight in the pocket. She is always trying to make it dirty and force her way in. She usually just overwhelms her opponents with her strength and her speed. Just quick and powerful. And that's what she overwhelms people with. On the ground, Tainara is pretty good. But this is where it gets weird. Because the thing with Tainara is, I can't fully tell if she's a striker or a grappler she likes to strike clearly but when she, she takes down girls a lot then we'll sit in top control then we'll just get up and loot in like completely abandoned position i'm not really sure if she likes to strike or grapple more but she's pretty good at both to be fair she has some her takedowns are just immediate and they just go straight into subs she just usually takes someone down straight into a submission and if she doesn't then she's probably going to be a bit more on the stale side a bit more on the boring side when she's wrestling she has some amazing arm bars and a very tight rear naked choke she's finished a couple of her fights i want to say three of her nine wins come by rear naked choke and she doesn't even have it under the chin most of the time she's just getting it uh, around the neck it's forcing the tab it's like a neck crank almost really she's good on the back she grabs that rear naked choke very easily she's very good in scrambles very good in transitions she likes to stand up to land ground and pound for some reason like i said she'll give up that position she'll stand up and start landing ground and pound from the standing position very weird like i said before when tainara decides to actually stay 
on top and you know use her control she does have some pretty solid control she just doesn't really use it much it's very weird so she can be caught in submissions when she is on top but she usually fights her way out but her one loss to baruta brazil was when she got caught in a guillotine kind of recklessly rushing in and left her head in a bad spot she can be very boring on top though she can be stood up in fights and just not be very exciting tainara doesn't have the best takedown defense so there are times that she ends up on her back and when she does she doesn't look the best off of her back she kind of gives up transitions clean and lets opponents kind of do what they want when she's on her back but then she she is strong enough to usually get up or you know fight off the position but she just doesn't have the best bottom game in general she's not the best in the clinch either uh she does slow down a bit throughout the fight but she usually finds wins later on even if she is slowing down but overall i think tainara is just a very well-rounded fighter but i just i can't fully get a read on her game and what what her goal is in fights sometimes she's a very interesting fighter so for my prediction for this fight it's a very interesting stylistic matchup i think kinsaisal has the advantage in the grappling and if she decides to use it that'll be the big edge for her but I think Tainara does have the advantage on the feet. I know Kinsaisal has been working on that striking, so we may come out and see even more improvements in her striking, and she may end up being the better striker in the fight. But as of what I've seen on tape, I do think Tainara is the better striker just based off speed and power. I think she hits a lot harder than Kinsaisal, and I think she throws quicker than her as well. I don't think she has, I guess, as well of a arsenal of strikes that Kinsaisal has, so that could be something that's tricky, but... I do think Tainara is the better pure striker, but the Kinsaisa is a better grappler than her. So it just really depends on where this fight takes place. I am going to lean that it does take place on the ground and in the clinch for the most part, I'd say. And I do think Rose Kinsaisa will grind out a unanimous decision win here against Alexia Tainara. Probably like 29-28, I could see Tainara taking around for sure with her striking and even maybe ending up on top in certain positions. Tainara is a very solid fighter, and I think she probably is UFC Cal. I could say, but Kinsaisal is just, she's clearly been getting a lot better in her fights, and I'm going to bank on her to continue to get better and be the more well-rounded fighter come fight night. So I'm going to pick Rose Kinsaisal by unanimous decision here. I appreciate all of you for coming and watching the first episode of my week seven breakdowns. Tune in for the rest of the fights. We will be doing one for every fight on this episode. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.